behind the counter for? Because I was like, what you call me? Oh, back up. Oh, my God. What am I getting arrested for? Last time, and then I'm... The, my husband will sue the Baraboo School District. From individuals who exhibit arrogance and consider themselves above the law. They may cause disturbances in public places, violate laws regarding theft or traffic safety. No, 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 let me go be right here. I can't, I can't hold any more. I'm gonna get a lawyer! My lawyer's gonna f sue you! However, typically, arrogant behaviors and an attitude of superiority ultimately lead to unintended consequences and backfire on themselves. And here are the cases when dumb Karens try to intimidate cops, but it backfires. First case, revolving around this woman. What'd you go behind the counter for? Cause I was like, what you call me? Oh, back up. No, I'm just no, trying to show okay. you. I'm not but doing anything you. to you. The woman who turned herself into a victim after causing trouble. On April 21st, 2022, Austell, Georgia police were dispatched to Joe's bottle shop liquor store to handle a disturbance involving a customer who caused chaos and attempted to confront a store employee. Upon arrival at the scene, the police encountered the suspect outside the store, who immediately claimed that a store employee had assaulted her. Baby, come here. Step over here. Why are you bleeding? Because he just hit me. Which one hit you? The and white why? dude in there. Well, the guy's in your dog. Yeah, because he hit me. Tell what's going on, okay? Uh, he, I called him a. He called me a. I walked back there and he swung on me. Walk back where? Back there. What'd you go behind the counter for? Cause I was like, what you call me? Oh, back up. No, I'm just no, trying to show okay. you. I'm not doing anything you. to you. No. I'm just trying to show y'all what happened. Look, show me. No, cause then you go say the same thing to you. No, I'm not. Take a few deep breaths and we'll talk, okay? I came. My the heart is racing. Take some breaths. Do you need medical attention? No, I walked up here. Okay. I come up here all the time to get cash back on my car. Okay. He told me it was gonna be four dollars. I said that's not what he said. And he said the dude over there. I said where he at? He was like he over there. I said okay. Can you tell him to come over here? No, you can go over there. The dude behind him said no. Charge her two dollars. No, do three dollars. And I'm like okay. What you say? It was three dollars, not four dollars, right? I'm like okay. I'm not going nowhere. I stood right here. And so he got the next person in line. And then. Take your time. So then the dude said he was gonna charge me two dollars to get cash back. I said okay. And then the black dude was like, are you all right? I was like, no. If that was somebody else, I would have spit on me his ass. He was like, who the f you spit on? So I walked back there and he swung on me. After he swung on you, what happened? We started fighting. Okay. Do you see my face? I do see your face. And I just sitting there letting that boy punch me. You have your ID, man. No. Despite claiming to the police that she had been assaulted, she refused medical assistance and declined to press charges. Instead, she expressed a desire to go home with her son. You live nearby, I guess, since you walked up here? No, I'm gonna get a couple pictures of your face if you don't mind. I don't wanna press no charges. Do you do not wish to be a victim? No, I just wanna go home. So I just wanna ask again, you don't need medical attention, correct? My son is in my house. I need to walk back home. Is there anybody else playing? Is there anybody else at the house or just him? According to her account, the dispute arose over a small cash advance fee, escalating from a verbal argument to violence when she confronted the employee behind the counter. However, as the police officers delved deeper into the incident, the narrative took a different turn. Let me, uh, let me brief to tell you first. She won $140. He said it's gonna be a $4 and then turn around 99 cent credit card company charge. I said, okay, how about that $3 charge it? And 99 cent automatically gonna come for the credit. She said, no, that one, I come with you all the time and everything. Okay, what about $2, all right? And the 99 cent, she said, okay, and blah. And he just said, well, saying to me, I'll get it as a customer. She said, no, I'm not gonna move. Then I said, John, don't worry about it. You go another car and let me handle it. I told her two dollar, and now it will be two dollar and ninety nine cent. And I told her that guy, Abdul, got only two dollar, right? And ninety nine cent. Then she was living, moving. She was cussing him out, cussing him. Obviously, word come from him too. I don't know what was she was saying. Piss you on that one. And then she said he called the name too. And she come right there behind the counter. What are you told me? And after that, we tried to behold him too because he just turned around, and started to hurt him too. But when she started. 
How far did she come behind? Up behind yeah, yeah. Oh, down to uh, about yeah, almost the line. Right here. Yeah. Trolley, trolley, Lima, Echo, uh, Alpha. Who did who? She did hit me first. first. She come behind the uh, counter and hit it right up first. She, she tried to hit me a lot. She and then throwing she threw a bottle. Two bottles. She threw two bottles. She threw two bottles. She got ten with one of them. He was getting out from her. From him. Are you getting out? Are you able to pull the cameras up on her? Yeah, no, uh, I ain't got a clue. He can do it. Okay. She's, I'm sending my brother to... Damn, you get hit off with what ball? Did the bottle bust? No. She's uh, got a shot like that. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to watch the video right now. She just wants to go home, doesn't wish to be victim, only to take pictures of her face. Probably 10 to 10. I'm not looking that way right now, no. Okay. Once you get the video up yet? No, uh, he's at work. That's all I want to discuss. Okay. She threw the phone to the head. Alright, it took me a second. She threw the phone? Yeah. From over there? Yeah. It hit that? Yeah. She threw it the gun. She hit that thing? Yeah. She had the piece of the glass. Okay, I'll see. According to the accounts provided by the store staff, it was the woman who initiated the violence by attempting to assault a store employee, forcing him to defend himself. Furthermore, she even wielded a bottle from the shelf as a weapon and threatened that her brother would come to deal with them. The surveillance footage from the store's security cameras also corroborated the accuracy of the employee's statements. No, I mean, if you got peroxide or something, I don't have any here. Right. All we can do, man, is have the fire department come no, look at you. No, I'm not worried about that. Okay. Let me get a picture of your hand while you're, uh, while yes. you're doing that. With just his hand, right? Yeah. That's it? All right. It's probably when she was throwing stuff, swinging stuff. I don't know how that happened. Or when she fell, I was trying to push her off me. That's anything to set my face, do I? Yeah, just a small nick on your forehead. Yeah, I know that. Okay. I'm not going to press Either. charges if she doesn't press that. charges. I will. Either. You don't want to be a victim in this case? Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't want to be a victim in this case? Well, Joe's is a victim already. Like, she broke his mirror. Yeah. Crazy not to charge yeah, her for this. she hit two other people with a bottle, so. So this is the entrance, right? Yeah, so said right. She came all the way back in the hangar. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Does this thing do audio, by chance? I don't think it does audio. It doesn't do audio, right? Yeah. Oh wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they said she was trying to eat. Well, she tried to hit him in the beef. Tried to see. I won the bottle. She didn't hit him in the head, but she got you. She hit him on the elbow. I'm lucky not to get hit in the head. But... No, really. Can y'all do me a favor and um, sometime tonight get a recording of this? Yeah. Thank y'all. And she's, she's definitely going to jail. So, here it goes. Come back in. The police decided to arrest the woman for her disruptive behavior. However, despite the evidence and testimonies from multiple witnesses, the suspect remained adamant in denying her violent actions. She walked. Her. My brother is coming down here. He How far away is he? I don't know. I can call them off my phone. Despite the woman's steadfast denial, she ultimately had to face being arrested and escorted into a patrol car. Her brother arrived to retrieve her car. However, a heated argument ensued between him and the police, resulting in the vehicle being towed away. Oh against the, the victim. She also took one, two of the bottles off of the shell. Why are you calling me a bitch? Why are you getting fired? Why are you even on the shell? The sister is on video going behind the counter and assaulting the store clerk. It ain't no, it ain't no. You wasn't here in your clue. I'm just trying to figure out what's I'm going on, man. You talking happened. crazy. I'm just trying to Don't figure out what's going on. Don't run your mouth to me. Figure out what's going on. Get the car and leave. I'm not doing anything Get in the car and leave. Oh, LT. LT, 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 LT. Do you understand me? Go on to jail. Do you understand that? I, I, I didn't say no cuss words. Say it again. I said no cuss words. Say it again. Get your car and go. No cuss words. Being real, this is a public property, though. 
refer to the business, I'm, I'm okay. telling you to LT. leave. Okay. LT. Record on with you 85 the car. They're real aggressive. Oh, I'm going to show my lawyer this too. Call it, but leave right now. Whatever her car is. Is that not it? I That's the way he drove down in there. Not to be discussed. Thank y'all. Have a good day. I can't. However, another unexpected twist occurred when an acquaintance of the woman appeared and approached the police to inquire about the car's information. He accidentally dropped his gun, leading to a tense moment. Very good. Into that red car. And you already got a load to take off. Thanks. Hello, man. I can help you. Don't fucking touch that, dude. What can we do to reduce it? just gonna. That's a. That's a whole lot of what the fuck. I f it. I'm mind boggled right now. You mind unlocking this door for me? The owner of it needs to come up to the PD and get the release form. Luckily, I'm of a cool head. You literally just open a door with a Glock in your lap to a cop. Think about it. That's probably not too smart on a normal day-to-day -day basis. But I'm of cool sound mind. I tried out to make it happen. So what I did is I took everything out so I feel safe. Have a good day. You as well. Finally, the woman was charged with simple assault, simple battery, and criminal trespass with property damage under $500. Next, we will move on to the case of this woman, Amanda, 41 years old. What do I gotta say to make you get out of my life? I can sue Baraboo! I don't want to sue you! On October 28, 2023, in Baraboo, Wisconsin, police responded to a theft incident at a local store involving a woman who refused to leave after being caught stealing a vape device the previous day at the same gas station. Hi Herb, how you doing? I just came to get some stuff. Being a cop such a hard job. You can give it to your stuff, Amanda, and I'll Thank you. We'll chat I appreciate your service. You are strong, and so is he. Meet one of my husbands. Oh, that's one of your husbands? Yeah. I told her I was coming to get her there. And she's getting no trespass from here as well. From yesterday's incident. Not waste that guy's time anymore. <laughs> Did her money come through? I don't know. That I'm you... just going to pay for her day. Like he's been ringing up she stuff for... Yeah. We can't make her go. You're right. Like, this is bullshit. I spoke with her mother as a officer Conley. Oh, there's a... It her would. mom wants to drag her to the church and have people hold her down. Yeah, her and her sister's going to pay. The cops are mobile. I guess we need to get trespassed. We're going to do something else. At the current moment, the woman identified as Amanda remains stubborn, refusing to leave the store with claims of being pregnant. I have some located. I'm getting. I'm cutting down because it's high of a dose and it's not a healthy dose. Right. And I'm pregnant. I need to cut down on this stuff. Who just said that she hasn't got a trespass? Okay. And then I want to introduce you to use marijuana for many reasons. Thank you, Jim. What's up? What's going on? Can I put my hand on you? No. Tatanka. Tatanka. Don't forget to peach. That's not a peach. Could be so peach. Yeah, I mean, he's the one with her. Now, it could be. Strawberry thing, that peach, strawberry, that peach, flavor, peach, 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 Okay, you need to calm down, or I'm gonna be honest, you're gonna end up at the jail. Then I'll have a day off, I guess. Good. Right? I'll take care I'm of you. I'm not gonna. I'll protect Amanda. you. And I will never okay. turn He's my back on you. Babe. I hope you have We're a great day up. and you continue to do your job. Right? Despite the officers being polite and patient in advising her peacefully, the woman remained angry, shouting, and even threatening to sue the police. She seemed unaware that this only made her situation worse. I need a babe. I'm getting all that. That is coming yeah, home with me. True. And yesterday you didn't have any money. So I'm guessing today you're not going to have any money for that stuff. And he already paid for your babe. Be what do I got to say to make you get out of my life? I have the yeah. power of Baraboo. I can sue Baraboo. Last time. And then I'm... The Ottawa will sue you. My husband 
will sue the Baraboo School District. That has nothing to do with me, Amanda. Amanda? You were there. I'm gonna take Amanda? everybody down. I will oh. for what is right! Amanda, other than- I am okay. trying to survive. My son is important. My daughter is important. My sisters hey. are important. My mothers are important. It's time to leave. Okay, I'll listen to you, Carly. I'm sorry. It's time to go. No, I listen to police officers. Let's go. Come on. No. What's what? your name and who Come are over you? Here. Come over here. Let's go this way, uh, please. Can I, you aren't just going around. Do you know her? Are you going to go home? No. With him? I'm going to stay right here okay. until I have everything. I am not going to tell you again. I'm not through. If you are not going to choose to leave. Seeing no change in Amanda's attitude, the police decided to arrest her. The situation escalated as the woman vehemently resisted the police's attempts to arrest her. I'm going to take you to jail for disorderly conduct. Please try it. Give okay. you a ride. Okay. Try it. I dare you. One of my husbands is here, okay. and I will get back out and have this baby. Again, Amanda, we're giving I you all promise. The, we're giving you all of the options. Don't to calm make down. me say it, but I will curse you and beat your ashes. I'm, you're under arrest. Yeah. For disorderly conduct. You're under arrest. I'm suing you. Relax, don't. Get your don't. hands off me. Don't. I am not what I'm at, man. Get your hands off me. Oh, I will f*** you. I will f*** you. I will f*** you. Oh, man. Get your hands off me. I'm serious. My serious. You're my serious. Paul, fuck that. You're my serious. Paul, fuck that. You're my serious. Okay, well then stop, stop fighting with us up. and we won't be. I am married to Jared Stoddard. We're 1095. Please be gentle with me. I am pregnant. I will only leave with her. I will only leave with her. Then walk okay. with her. Who's coming with us? Where are you? Let's go. Stand up, stand up. No, they did help me. I divorced your son. What? I divorced your son. I am killing an Egyptian baby. I will. Amanda. I will make it. My husband. Amanda. No. We're gonna you up. I will. Get your hands off me! I am a liar! Look, look. I'll give you in a second. It hurts. It hurts. Could you pick that up, please? Can you tell me? What is your name and Give me your name, Liberty! H something G! Go Herb! Come in! Herb! You are an evil! I am not an evil! Let's go. Have a seat. Amanda, hop in the car, please. Amanda, please get in the car. Amanda, hop in. Get in the car. No! I'm just started. He is not. Get in the car, Amanda. Have a seat, and we won't have to do that. You just hurt me, okay. and I have videotape. Oh, you fuckers. Get in. Let's go. You are going to purgatory. Let's go. I'm on the purgatory list. In the end, Amanda was charged with resisting or obstructing an officer and disorderly conduct. She was convicted of resisting or obstructing a lawful order and fined $330. It's hard to believe where Amanda found the confidence to return to the store she had stolen from the day before and adamantly refused to leave when the store recognized her. But beyond the consequences she rightfully faced, it seems this woman also needs intervention for mental health issues. This would not only ensure her safety, but also the safety of others she may encounter. If you think Amanda's behavior was crazy enough, just wait until you meet this woman. Turn around, I gotta pee! Erica, turn around. Why am I being arrested? For what? My lawyer's gonna f sue you! Erica, the one who thinks she has the right to call a lawyer to threaten the police after committing a series of traffic violations and public safety offenses. In March 2023, in Florida, police responded to a disturbance at a local motel involving a heavily intoxicated woman continuously shouting obscenities in the parking lot. Upon arrival, the police attempted to communicate with the suspect to understand the situation. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Go ahead and just stand right here for me. Stand right there. Sure. That was quick. Yeah. Guys, I see him 
No, not to try to be. I'm like, oh, no. one I'm one way. what's going on? Nothing. I had to break up my boyfriend. Like, they're going to be on the list. I'm going to leave, go home. And so I pulled in because I tried to run. I'm going to mad. Okay. I don't even know where I'm at. Okay. I turned around. I went to um, Hogs, but uh, it's my daddy. Huh? We got we got three kids together. Is that that's him? Together. That's yes. him. Yes. What's going on yes. here? Last I heard, she was being belligerent, and the hotel people said they had to call the cops. Do you have an ID on you, sir? Yeah. This is like, mm -hmm. What are you doing here, Bubba? I'm like, okay, so I'm trying to pull. I'm trying to pull around. Where I'm do you live? Like, you live like Port Charlotte. It's sick. Yes. Okay. Honey Gorda. Okay. You close, girl. Okay. My family lives up there. Okay. I'm gonna do so much. I three girls. So. But your kids are up home right and now? You came here to no water. Your kids home or? Yes, my kids are okay, your kids are home with your grandparents. Do you have your ID on you? I do, girlfriend. Okay, where's that at? My purse. You can get it out. You can check anything you want. Okay. I'm Here. like, you want to eat my I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. And she's like, ah, oh, blah, blah, only girls allowed here. I'm like, you want to eat my So that's the chick that was like coming yes, in the room? Yes, a dog. No, 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 not in her. room. I never went to her room. Okay. I just went to pool around. Which you can look which way you turn. Okay. Okay. So I to turn my car in the background and turn my scooter to get my car, blah, 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 blah. And she was like, ah, oh, there ain't no job. I was already crying because I was upset. I so you on. all were already having an issue where you're no, this person I, that I you just, don't know just so started no, like the no, whole issue? No. You'll see. Since I had my first baby, I have three girls. Okay. So she's on the side. So I had six, eight years ago. I'm good. Girl, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> like, but on like slopes. Yeah. You're like, you know, you gotta rev yeah, up. It's yeah. so funky. Survival. And she's like, uh, I'm here. calling the police. I'm like, yeah, tell them that you're better than you ever had. Like, I was talking shit. The police asked her about the events leading up to the incident and learned that she had been involved in an argument with another woman. Why was she mad? She's you, our though? dog outside. There's no reason, girl. I wish I had a camera in my car. Okay. Dude, follow up. I, okay. Honestly, I was so overwhelmed. Okay. What do you but it's a little baby black dog. Huh? What happened? You have blood anywhere else? I don't know where the f that came from. You just surprised me with that. Oh, you got a little blood on your knee there. Oh, that's, that's from Bridge Trump. We were hogs breath. You were at hogs breath? Yeah. Okay. The bathroom was forever. Okay. So, I mean, I think I want ultra. I don't drink. I'm bartending my life. I've been to Punta Gorda. I'm six hours away. I okay. bartend my whole life. I promise you, trust me, if a guy was me up, I would tell you, girl. Yeah. I would tell you every yeah. mother. You do. Oh. I swear, God, you see it. So you yeah, said that. Because I would tell you no. firsthand. Yeah, it's probably just from your knee there. Yeah. Her I purse and side. everything's in the and car. In my wallet, in my MK purse. You want to get it or you want me to get it? I don't care. What's your name again? All right. Are you here. ready? Here, just wait. She, can she look at it? Erica. Yeah, girl, girl. Erica, let's go over here in the shade. It's too hot. I've been sweating all day. I need my vape, girl. Me too. Okay, okay. Here, you want to just sit down for me? Either lean up like, the wall for me, or just have a seat, okay? Uh, can I can't have you wandering around. In her purse. In her purse. She says an MK purse. I wish I'd snatch her right now. I'd be like, hey, daddy, look. She mean her backpack? Because there's no MK purse here. Hey, that's mine. Hey. That's it, that's it. Hang out here with Officer Zero. Hansel. Zero. You're good. Initially, the woman seemed cooperative, allowing the police to search her bag and asserting that she had nothing to hide. However, it wouldn't take long for the police to notice the woman's true attitude. Yep, there it is. Her ID should be in there. Erica said we can look at whatever we want in the car. She has nothing to hide. Yes. I see your uh, social, Erica. What's your birthday? It's in my wallet. What's your birthday? We've there we go. 10 years, unfortunately. We have three kids together, three girls. No more. I can smell alcoholic beverage on her. Her eyes are bloodshot and watery, and her speech is slurred. Jumped right out without putting the vehicle in park, jumped out of the vehicle and approached our vehicle. Other than the wrong way, one way. It's driving westbound on South Street, down the road. So you saw no other violations on the road? In the middle of the road. She was kind of in the middle of the road, right down the crown. At the one way? No. No. Okay. When we got behind her with lights and sirens there, and her attempt to pull over for us. Well, she didn't come here first. No. no. She was brought here by okay. us. Okay. Okay. During the interaction with the woman, the police noticed signs of her intoxication as well as erratic behavior while she had been driving. They decided to give her the opportunity to perform a field sobriety test on the scene. However, Erica insisted that she hadn't been drinking at all 
and began to display uncooperative behavior. Hold my hand, I don't care. Uh, I'm not oh. holding your hand while you pee, that's gross. So go ahead and stand up for me real quick. Seeing someone pee that I don't know is kind of weird. How much you had to drink today? I had nothing to drink. I'll tell you what, I smell cats with I had my medical card. And I'm going to tell you something. Uh -huh. That's good. Eric, right. I can smell alcohol on your person. I wish. So, well, now I'm smelling it. How much did you have to drink? Well, don't, don't. No, no, no. Don't I'm not going to. You do? Come just, on. just tell me right now. No. You have no okay. idea what's okay. going can, on. Can, can I please talk? Yes. Okay. Right. Uh, Leave me alone. Well, hear me out. So with everything I see going on, I'm concerned that I do smell alcohol with beverage no. on your Give you the opportunity to spell my belief that you've been operating a motor vehicle on an influence of alcohol and have you participate in some field sobriety exercises. Are you willing to do that? You okay. can hold my hand. She can my hand. I don't care who okay. it is. He, she, but, anybody can my hand. You no, know, it's unlawful to, uh, that's not unlawful to bother this. I don't care. Are you willing to participate in field sobriety exercises? No, no, I didn't no. drink it. I'm really okay. depressed. Okay, but I'm not going to rest it for a half a yeah. joint. That has nothing Y'all ran through my car. I mean, no one's Despite the woman's unusual and uncooperative attitude, the police remained calm and explained to her about the medical card, as well as giving her another opportunity to choose whether to consent to the field sobriety test at the scene. Even if you have a medical card, you still you can't, can't be, be out you open. Can't be, you, no, you can't be high and driving. I believe you have alcohol in your system, and I'd like to do some uh, field sobriety exercises. Can I tell you something? Sure you can. Okay. I love talk to breath. We came back here, I followed him, we're to a beach, like, chill out, and walk away. I just got a stick chip. And it's like, in, and then, like, you know, it's different than what I used to drive. So I love everybody. Oh, SBS, another dog. You ain't supposed to be here! And she's like, it's only for lesbians. I'm like, yummy. Lick your And she's like, yeah, I would. I'm like, anyways, I'm like, I'll get the out of here. And I fing around, he's like, Erica. Erica, stop. And I'm like, eh, first of all, I'm not like that. Just we could have done a couple way. exercises with this phone level. I'm going to check your eyes. That's the first thing I want to do. Well, no, I no. would love to be in drugs right now. Oh, so your pupils are super small. I love it. So the exercises. Exercise like what? Like checking your eyes. Um, no. Because I can be incriminating myself by doing anything. You told me you weren't drinking, so how would you incriminate yourself? No, because I have my own prescription in there I take. Okay, and I don't want you f***ing me over for my own prescription. Okay. If I max, I suck over so you I like... Are you willing to participate in field sobriety exercises? Oh, no, hold on. Come here. You take me the out here. You hold my hand. Okay. We, I ain't trying to show me the giant no, idea that you've seen. We, yes I will no? take it. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. So go ahead and put your feet together. No, let me second. take her pee. Right there. As soon as we get yeah. done with this, what we got to do, and then you can go pee. Okay. But right now we have to. I wish I should Okay. All right. So put your feet together, hands down your side, stand in front of me, please. Eric, no, you're lucky I have to. We're super busy. So I hope you are. I love doggies. Perfect. I want her to do it. Well, she doesn't do it. This is what I do. Why? It's a girl. I feel comfortable with a girl. No, she doesn't not. Fuck. She don't f me over, too. No. She'll f me over. All right, so Erica, are you going to do this or not? It's up she to you. She does it. What I want you to do is I told you what I observed. I'd like to give you the opportunity to spell my belief. Right, so you, hot for your 49. Thank you. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, feet together, hands down to your side. Dog hair and all. At this point, Erica chose to take the field sobriety test at the scene. However, this was just the beginning of her uncooperative attitude later on. Follow the tip of my finger with your eyes only. Do you understand? All right, all right, I got you. So you're gonna you. move your eyes back and forth. Oh, I love this shit. Your wife's gonna f your mother me in my middle of my sleep. I like her better nope, though. You gotta keep, you gotta keep watching. I am. I'm gonna help it. You're 49. You're only 49. All right, come on. All right, stop. Let's go. Focus I know, on the but pen. The pen's, you're not 49. Can you not be 49? You guys are f***ed up. Your guys are f***ed up. Keep your head still for me, please. No, stand come on, don't stand up straight. Dude, you're prolonging so stop. it. You're prolonging this. Hey, right, where's my hot girlfriend? Like Could this, she do it? You're copying me. I am, like I this. am. I'm looking like at this hot ass self. Look at him like a statue. For a 50 year old. Okay. All right, baby. Like Let's statue. do this. Right, do okay, don't look at this. Look at your chest. No, open your eyes. Don't touch him. No, look at the pen. Oh, look at the pen. If you ride with her, you're lucky as f. Yo, wife be jealous as f. I am not up, just stop. Dude! Right, let's try another one. Let's right, do the walk hold my head. Come on over here for me. Go, go ahead and stand here for me on the line. Do no, the one. I'm trying to stay. rescue boy. No, no, no. Stay on the line yeah. for me, please. Erica, I can't help stay. you have a hot ass girlfriend. You just mad because I can't stop following it. No. All right. Throughout the initial exercise, she kept talking and seemed to be trying to prolong the time by making excuses for not being able to concentrate because of the police standing around. I want you to take your left foot and place it on that line for me. Take the right foot, put it heel to toe in front of the left foot. All right, can we put it on the line like I'm standing? Heel to toe, count out loud. One, two, three, 
four. All right. Throughout the exercise, make sure you keep your hands down to your side. Once you start one, the exercise. One, two, three, four. Are right, y'all ready for this? Once you start the exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I, I deserve a smack in the ass. Okay. He's like, yeah, go to jail. You're trying everything. All right. So I need you to put your hands down to your side. I don't care your wife no more. Okay. What I want you to do is you're going to pick up either. You're your, trying everything, boy. You're either going to pick up your left foot or your right foot. Okay. Yo, four can handle me. Well, just so you One, know. Two, three, four, just, five. Just so you know. Hey! These, they're I love they're it. near the end of their training, so they're learning from all this. Okay. Oh, so, man. So, Feet together, hands down to your side. Your pee first. All right, well, real quick, let me I go over this. I love you. You're so sexy. I appreciate that. All right. He's your, like right my nose. Pick your bitches. foot up six inches off the ground. Keep your hands oh, down to your side. Pee. And pee, I want pee, you to pee. count out loud. Pee, pee. Count out loud. 1,001, oh, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. When I ask you to begin, you're going to pick either foot up six inches off the ground with your eyes. This dumb. When, be the one, 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 thousand two, two one, thousand three, three, four, five, six. Erica, 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 do me a favor. I hear a girl. I said, Nan, like y'all asked me to. You're under arrest. Turn around, please. I gotta pee. Erica, turn around. 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 She got me rested for the list and tell her, no, I gotta pee. I don't care what white fire is. We'll, I have to pee. We'll, we'll get to go, okay? I gotta pee. I did nothing. Now I'm gonna get a fucking lawyer and pee all these mother The woman was quickly arrested after displaying uncooperative behavior and failing the field sobriety test at the scene. Faced with being arrested, she began to cry and find any excuse to delay the process, even resisting being put into the police car. Her defiance and unacceptable attitude will result in serious legal consequences, which may include penalties such as arrest and facing legal fines. Erica, no, listen, listen, you listen up. You lie to the ass trainer. Listen, 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 Look, let her take me yeah. pee! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you want drugs in my system, I wish I- Oh yeah, go on, right there, right up front. Go a little deeper. You have a bra on, Erica? She's clear, it's like I have an on me. I bet you eat in my car? Yep. She yep. said, yeah! Girl, I see in your car. Let me go pee right here. Hold me, hold me, hold me. Let me go pee. I don't want you to go guy, let me go pee. I don't okay. care, let, girl, Erica, girl, let me go pee, pee right here. Erica, no, I don't care, handcuffs. Let me go Erica, pee. Like 10 minutes. Girl, let me go pee. Stand no, up. no, no, let me go pee right here. I can't, I can't hold any more. Girl, Erica, I'm as much you as need you. To Why am I being arrested? For what? For oh what? God. I'm gonna get a lawyer. My lawyer's gonna what? sue you. Dude. Dude. Don't, you can't break her leg. Break my leg. Break my leg. On the way to the jail, the woman's behavior became increasingly uncontrollable. She shouted and even became violent, repeatedly kicking the police car forcefully. I'm gonna have you arrested! Oh, that's right, I'm gonna have you arrested by my lawyer! <laughs> Dumb. I do anything wrong. Oh, you bang my head against the window! I'm gonna make sure everybody on the news knows about this. You falsely accusing someone! Her head. Oh, 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 oh. I have to pee. Erica. We're trying to get you where you can go to uh, the bathroom. Me. I'm sorry, We're trying to you're get not. you. You're not. She's dumb new bitch. I thought I was doing. I'm trying Please to. Please help me. I didn't do anything wrong. I have three little girls. I didn't do anything Erica. wrong. Help me. Help my hands. I don't care. Yes, I can. Help me. Listen. I have to pee. I'm going to pee in your face. I don't want to pee in George. No, you're a new bitch. You know what you're doing. Back in the car. Get back in the car so we can take you. Erica. We need to take you. Erica, stop. You're lucky. No, I have to pee. We're going to get you to a bathroom. Is this your, right is this your car? Can I get you, get you to the bathroom? Is this your car? Right we'll be in it. Can I get you to the bathroom? The woman's rude behavior still pales in comparison to what happened next. It wasn't until she was arrested that she remembered her children. 
Using her children as an excuse to avoid arrest is indeed an unacceptable tactic. However, to de-escalate the situation, the police patiently persuaded her to calm down. However, that didn't stop her from screaming. I'm still waiting for my right! They're not required, Erica. We don't need to question you. Okay, watch. I think you have your AC on. All I got was she urinated in your backseat. Your seat isn't even the f It's in the other seat! That's great! Upon arrival at the jail, Erica refused to take a breathalyzer test. You guys have used right here. Pass your tantalizer vest walking. Right. So what was wrong with it? Okay. You're walking. So by refusing to submit to a lawful test your breath, your driving privilege will be for a period of 12 months. I have a previous test your breath here. Sure. So if you have a previous I'm gonna results, see you. Okay, that's fine. Your driving privilege will be suspended for that's a 18 months, as well as you'll have an additional criminal charge. I'm gonna sue you for you hurting me. Okay. So you refuse to submit to a lawful test your breath? Yeah, because you guys don't I pass a breath lizer. Right. Walk, walk, walk. Alright. Bam, baby! Walk, walk. You a liar. Right, you see that? It's piss. Alright, oh, smack that. Have some paperwork. No, you, I'll just, you see we'll me walking around, girlfriend? Come on, so, yeah, you, but you can, you can take no. the process. In the end, the woman was charged with DUI and resisting arrest. She was sentenced to 12 months of probation and ordered to pay over $1,000 in court fines. However, Erica's erratic behavior still pales in comparison to Daniel's. You will not be in this situation right now. Leave me alone. Let them leave. The incident occurred in early October 2023 when the police received a call about a serious car accident involving a heavily intoxicated woman. However, upon arrival at the scene, they witnessed a tense situation between the female driver and EMS personnel. Hi, Vivian. I don't want to pull my name in here. She's not cooperating. Okay. Ma'am, step away from the car right now. Not an option. Step away from the car. Come on. Come over here. I need these guys to check you out real quick. Where are you injured? They should know, right? They asked me, right? Excuse me? Excuse me. Are you saying no? I am a... We can go straight to jail or we can do this. We're not going to mess with those right now. You know what? No. I need my shoes. Okay. So give me a moment so well, I can get my shoes. Come on, ma'am. What's your name? It, it, I'll give you everything you need. Let's go. Come on. I am you, a... You can call and complain. You can do anything you want. I'll give you everything you need to do that. I need you to go over here and be checked out by these guys so I can check your injuries and then we can so move on. I will sit here. You can be checked so on. Get my shit. No, no, we're not no, doing that anymore. No, we will I get am. that in a minute. Are we clear? Let's go. No, are you clear? Despite the rescue personnel and police trying to assist the woman with medical checks after the collision, she became angry and uncooperative. This behavior not only escalated tension in this situation, but could also be considered a violation of cooperating with authorities during the investigation of a traffic accident. By failing to comply with the police's requests, she could face legal consequences such as arrest or legal fines. Look, we're not going to do this. I, I can either put handcuffs on you and we just go straight to jail, or we can do this the easy way. Go that way. a hospital check me out than these guys. What? That's what? And that's my right. And you cannot deny my right. Come on over here and sit down. Make sure I have my keys. That you don't need to worry no, about your I keys right now. I don't need to worry about my keys because this is my property. All right, let's go. Step over here. You know what? I'm trying to be cooperative with you. I don't want to do. I don't. I am trying to be cooperative. Let's, with you, let's go, ma'am. Get out of the car. I'm not in the car. I step up you here so these up. guys can check on you. Go let's, ahead, check on me. Let's come I on. Need my shoes because I'm flat I will, I will and get I have them. illness in get your sheet. You can tell me what this can do. You don't understand. I'm aware. You're not a f***ing aware. No, no. We're not doing shit the hard way. I'm going to give you three seconds to walk up here and get checked out by these guys or we're just going to do it the hard way. Let's go. Daniel, the identified driver, was becoming increasingly unruly displaying anger and rudeness towards the police officers carrying out their duties. She appeared to be trying to prolong the situation. Under the law, this behavior could be considered obstructing the investigation process and may lead to serious legal consequences, including imposing stronger security measures by the police. This is to ensure the safety of everyone involved and to maintain orderly legal proceedings. So you know what? There we go. Come on. Let's go. Get off me. Do not touch me. Ma'am, you don't want to do this. Come on, ma'am. Sir, sir, 
Do not touch me. Let's go. As long as you start cooperating and walk up I'm, here. I'm just trying to Come find on. the piece that is missing, sir. The Can deputy right here me? has your phone. The deputy right I in front of you. Phone. Let's go. Sit down. Let's go. Give me my Come phone. on. We do don't, you understand? We don't do want to do this. Touch me. Then sit down. No. Sit down. I'm, I'm afraid right now. I'm not feeling safe. Okay. Sit down. I need my phone to do that. So we can make Give me sure. my phone. And Sit I down and you'll get your phone. With you. I have the right to uphold my property. Ma'am, there's no reason for all this. I've been as calm as I can possibly be. You know what? Let's go. Sit down. Stanford? Yes. I need my phone. Sit down. I need my phone. If I give it to you, will you sit yes, down? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Thank you. Careful, careful, careful. We're just trying to make sure you don't fall. No. Check me out right where I'm in. Well, you're going to tip the stretcher over you, sitting on the edge of it like that. That's got, what happens when you got a fat ass. I don't feel safe. Ma'am, everybody here is trying to help you. You're, you're making this difficult for yourself. I don't know that. Well, you can sit down further to where that rest is that's resting up. You know what like, I mean? like, like, like here. The police then contacted the passengers traveling with her and the witnesses present at the scene to gather information about the incident. Danielle was driving. Yeah. And uh, she was in a little house to get it. A little. We left a part before we drive, but she wanted to leave. Okay. She was driving. Obviously, she was not able to drive. We're coming from Ohio Swing, she was not able to drive, but she and you were riding the passenger seat. Yeah, she wanted to leave the party. I said she was unable to drive, so now okay. we're here. I had to take my dog out, and I heard her. I barely saw the, the flashers on the car because okay. they were flashing, and I just heard her wailing inside the car. Okay. When I got over here, she was in the back of the car. I know she was in the driver's side of the car the entire time that I saw. Yeah, and start squatting at each other. <laughs> okay. Good morning to you. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Sunday morning. In the tense situation, the woman became increasingly unstable upon realizing that her passengers were blaming her. To ensure safety and prevent any further conflict, the police had to intervene promptly and separate the two individuals. This action aimed not only to protect their lives and property, but also to comply with legal regulations regarding public security and order. In such a situation, maintaining order and safety is the top priority for the police, helping to minimize risks and avoid disappointment for all parties involved. No, 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 hey, 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 hey. Holy crap, man. Come on this way. Stop, stop, stop. Ma'am, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Ma oh, she's, yeah, yeah. she's out the back. Stop. Come on down. Hey, here's what we're going to do. Here's what I want you to do. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. You all right? Here. Yeah. Obviously, you guys are like vinegar and water right now. Yeah. But are you guys just friends? That's my girl. You guys fighting tonight? We're not. It's just that she's drunk. That's the way she acts when she's drunk? I hate to say it, but yeah. Okay. Are you okay? I lost my phone. I'm already mad at her because I told her I wanted to find my phone at the party, but she wouldn't let me. Okay. Yeah, boy. You lost your phone because you're irresponsible. You lost your phone because you crashed my car. The U.S. and FBI. Problem is I gotta have blood. Now it's gonna be a fun fight down there for them. Yep. So get the out of my okay. face and leave me alone. Then do it. Right now. Now. Get out of my face. Stop it to me. On me. Do you need anything on clear in here? No, I can tell you. I'll take that. Clear, thank you. Goodbye. Go home to your wife and your children. I'm gonna go. And leave me the f alone. Get the f out. Do you guys just need to get vitals or what, what do you? We did get vitals. We got, we got, we got vitals. We can give her some allowing. drugs before we go. If no, we're, we're not. We're not. Gonna, we're not. No, gonna do it. it's not a matter of me no. allowing. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna turn around. Put your hands on your back. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm. You are. Them Let's to go. Help me. Come on. Turn around. I Just want give them me to help me. Your hand. I want them to help me. Get the you're, under yes. You're gonna get tased. Why are you trying to tase so. me when I want medical help? Okay. Put your hands on your back. Stop. No! And that's a doctor. I'm Do a not doctor. touch her. I want you to help me and I want him to leave me alone. Okay? At this point, the woman still refused to cooperate, and her behavior became increasingly hostile. Leave me alone! Okay, dear. You are antagonizing the situation and you don't understand. You would not be in this situation right now. We're gonna give you another chance. Leave me alone! Let them leave! Get out
her name? You don't have proof of that. So don't sit over here and tell me what I am. Your your girlfriend's not being cooperative at all, okay? I don't want you anywhere near her because of what I saw back at the scene. Hey, I'm having her come here to pick you up. So go ahead and step out because your girlfriend's going to go to jail tonight. It's just how it's going to have to be. Despite the patience and kindness of the officers trying to de-escalate the situation, Daniel remained unchanged. Her behavior even became more aggressive and reckless. She seemed unaware that her erratic behavior would only worsen her situation. Where's your proof of me being a OVI? Let's go. Plagiarizing. We have a witness putting you behind the wheel. That's not proof. Step out here, and we'll, we'll go from there. It's not. So an what, I, anymore. what I need? Come on. My clothes. Let's go. No, sir. The slurring. The stumbling. Stop. No. Come on. The let's go. crying. Hey, if if we go in here and get you your dress. Will you if, come you, up? If, if we go in here and get you your dress and your purse, don't interrupt me. will you come up? Will you or won't you? We're just trying to wrap this up because we don't want you standing here butt naked. If we get your dress, will you come with us cooperate? I want my phone. Okay, we'll get that. And I want my phone call. Okay, are you going to do that for us? So what I need... If we take you down here and get your dress, will you do that for us? We'll do what? Yes. Cooperate for what? Yes, to jail. You're going Why? to jail. That's, that's it. Arrest her. What I need get is my room. dress. Get out of the room. Yeah. Let's go. Come, Come on. on. Do not touch me. Ma'am, I don't want to. Do not touch me. Don't touch me. Let me, let me get my dress. You let's go are. Get let it. me get my dress. Let's go okay. get it. We okay, get so it. give me my dress. Stop. 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 Hey, give me my dress. You took my stuff without my consent. Right. You accused me of being an OVI. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Dee Stanford, stop touching me! Touch me! Stop! Stop! Yeah, stop. Yeah. Yeah. Danielle, get in the car. Where's my property? <laughs> Daniel was subsequently arrested and charged with driving under the influence, DUI, resisting arrest, disorderly conduct, and driving with a suspended license. Meanwhile, her girlfriend was assisted by the police to stay at a shelter. The behavior of the woman in this situation is truly unacceptable. However, through this, we can see the cases that police officers face. It's hard to believe that they have to deal with individuals like this every day. This job demands an extremely high level of mental focus and patience. Hopefully, individuals will learn the lesson of personal responsibility and respect for law enforcement officers, as well as respect for the law itself. This not only helps foster positive personal development, but also contributes to building a safer community. Cleveland Police, open the door! The next case revolves around a woman named Liz Yamaris Torres Rivera. She was charged with locking three young children in a room and leaving to drink at a bar. The incident occurred on May 19th in Ohio. Police in Cleveland received a report from a resident about a house on Storer Avenue, number 4200, where they heard continuous crying of children from inside. The police quickly responded and arrived at the address described by the neighbor. According to the neighbor's account, the crying belonged to three young children of Rivera, each under five years old, and they seemed to be alone. I don't hear anything. She's not home. This thing is done to us a lot. She's she's, I don't think she's there. They're screaming their heads off. They're babies. They're just babies and pampers. There's no, as far as you know, there's no, all right, so I know she's got a younger brother because I broke him tickets. Oh, really? I mean, now you can leave three kids. just like normal and screaming, just let them scream They're it out screaming, and fall asleep. screaming, screaming. You know, you figure you somebody would be up. Because I know I got a little water. When she cries, I'll let her sit there for 45 minutes until she Yeah, but this is asleep. constantly happening. Whoa, this is not right. normal. <laughs> yeah, I don't hear anything. After receiving no response from inside after knocking on the door, the police decided to walk around the house to check for anything unusual. However, they did not find anything suspicious. Therefore, the officers decided to return to the neighboring house to observe any possible reaction from Rivera's residence, where they heard the sound of children crying. The kind neighbor led them upstairs to the house, where there was a connecting door to Rivera's residence. I think now I'm here. Can you take us to where you can hear it at? I think I should hear them upstairs. That's, this is a door for so entrance. That's closed. That, but you can hear the kids. You said you hear them good from your bathroom. Yeah, I can hear them like from here, this room. You hear them like. He doesn't answer the door. Nobody answers the door. She's not up there drugged up or something. There's no way that's completely sealed. Yeah. Can you hear it up? Yeah, clear as day. Yeah, you can hear it. Let's go. Let me see. So, what does this door go to? That door actually goes. It's like an entrance for their house. So, so that's this completely won't open? sealed. No. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hey, it's the police. Can you hear me? We're going to kick in the door. door's going to be locked back there? Yeah, it's locked. I'll get my supervisor here and go from there, but we might end up kicking in that door. What kind of car does she drive? Oh, that's her car right there. That's her car. It's expired plates. See, uh, she can't drive it. 
the police officer decided to return to Rivera's house and knocked on the door. After receiving no response, the officer forcefully pushed the door to enter the house. During the search, they found no one in the house, but when approaching a locked room, they heard cries coming from inside. In that room, they discovered three children, aged two, three, and five, concerned about their mental and physical well-being. The police officer contacted the EMT for assistance. Cleveland police, come to the door! Come to the door, I might be kicking it in! Is she a white, black, Hispanic woman? She hardly speaks any English. I mean, I find her kids outside walking through alleys in the morning. Little kids. And there's no other entrance to that apartment besides that door. Who's there's the no other entrance unless I call the landlord's house. Where, where's he that He's on 88 on the right. Can you try to get a hold of him? I can try to call him and see if he answers. Please. It's like they're back there somewhere. Yeah, no, they're, they're back in there. There's a window over here that looks like it's covered. Yeah, I think that one. Because the only one that's covered, like that's open from both that's sides. Boy cry. Yeah. No. no. no okay. I was gonna wait till you're back here before I start kicking. Cleveland police, open the door. I'm kicking it in. Cleveland police. Cleveland police. Cleveland police. Hello. Is anybody in here? Cleveland police. Hello. They got the door latched. goes upstairs, but there's a mattress in the way. Are you okay? Are you okay? I got a 3 one radio. Are you okay, bud? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, hey, bud. Other officers began searching other areas of the house. Suddenly, a woman appeared and accidentally bumped into a police officer. She seemed surprised to see the police in her house. Below is the conversation between her and the police officer. It smells terrible in here. It's, yeah, it's, it's real bad. Guys, do you got clothes? Can you please? Can you put some clothes on? Jesus. Hey guys, can you put some clothes on? Uh, contact 696 kids. Get them out here. Roger. English? Any English? No? No English? Can you talk to me, please? Are you guys okay? Where's your mom? Do you have some clothes to put on? Okay. Can you have your brother, too? Hello? Hey, what's up? Stop! Stop! What's up? My Step out here. here. Oops, sorry, bud. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Why is these kids home alone? Why is he Hello? Here? No. Hello? Oh, oh, my God. God. Hey, 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 come hey, here. Come here. You're going to have to wait. Hey, hey, hey ma'am. You're going to wait out here. Over here. Uh -uh. Hey. Relax. Relax. Oh God, Relax. No. Attempting to enter the room, the woman was immediately restrained by the police. Her actions of locking young children in a room to go drinking had sparked outrage in the community, deemed highly irresponsible and condemnable. In Rivera's case, if a fire had broken out, the fate of these children would have been uncertain. Never leave children alone, especially not locked in a confined space, as this can adversely affect their future development. After determining that the woman had just returned from the bar, the officer proceeded to arrest her for her crimes. However, Rivera reacted strongly. She demanded to visit her children's room, but it was too late for that. In fact, she should have been home caring for her adorable children instead of locking them in a room and then going out to drink. Showing concern for her children only after being caught by the police is too little, too late. Where'd she come from? What? Oh, she just popped up on her. Stop! Yeah, I told you to stop. My Where's your ID? Here. Your no, your sister's not here. No one's here. Nobody's here. Just the kids. Three kids. Where is it? Oh my god. In your room? Listen. I'm in the you're gonna room. you're gonna push my buttons. They were uh sorry, they were locked in that room. What's your name? Okay. You smell like you've been drinking. You just come from the bar? Put your hands behind your back. Wait, 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 wait. Put your hands. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Relax. Put your hands behind your back. Hey, let me see my kids. Your kids are fine. We're taking care of them now. Your kids are fine. We're taking care of them now. All right? You need to relax. Oh, my God. Stop. Daniel. 
Tell him to get dressed. Man. Tell him to put some clothes on. Come on. Walk. Come on. Walk. No. What was that? Look. You walk or we have to walk you. I'd rather you walk yourself. Come on. Wait, no. Try that first for six nights. Okay. Um, come on. Walk. You gotta go, you gotta go outside. Come on outside. Walk. All you gotta do is listen right now. Yeah. I can't. Rivera was charged with endangering children. Afterward, she was evicted from the apartment with a notice stating that the property had been damaged. Police noted finding trash and insects, with the house having a foul odor. They also indicated a feeling inside of about 90 to 95 degrees. WJW reported that the Cuyahoga County Division of Children and Family Services also had an open case with the mother, although details of that case are currently unclear. Rivera is facing charges of endangering children. She reportedly intends to plead not guilty and claims that she did not leave her children alone, but instead left them with a supposed friend for care. After her arrest, the children were placed in the care of a relative. When Karens fail in their attempts to intimidate the police, they are the ones facing the consequences of their thoughtless actions. This serves as a reminder to all of us that respect and cooperation with law enforcement is always the best way to resolve conflicts and ensure safety for everyone. Finally, we would like to express our sincere gratitude to all of you for taking the time to watch our video. Your support is a great motivation for us to continue providing valuable content and addressing legal questions. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest videos. Thank you all, and see you in the next videos.